Religion can be one of the most difficult things to deal with in video games. And no, we're not talking about the made-up faiths from fantasy games. We're talking about real religion. It's treacherous trying not to tread on anybody's toes when dealing with somebody's sworn beliefs. Fortunately, looks like El Shaddai Ascension of the Metatron won't be having any issues. Because, frankly, it's blooming balmy, to say the least. And we've had a bit of a hands-on. El Shaddai's interpretation and use of Judeo-Christian law is suitably high concept for a game that pitches itself more as art than entertainment, and the religious imagery sits more comfortably in the modern reimagining than in games like Dante's Inferno that quite literally butchered the source material. Needless to say, El Shaddai's plot is relatively airy-fairy, using the Jewish Book of Enoch as inspiration and skirting around character motivation in favour of go here, do this sort of an attitude. You play Enoch, a topless priest in jeans sent to bring a band of fallen angels to justice, and that's about all the story that you get. As characters go, Enoch falls on the quiet side, and with his shaggy blonde locks, he looks like he'd be happier in Judas Priest than behind a pulpit. Rock on, amen. High concept and limp plotting aside, El Shaddai's gameplay is built on a solid third-person action-adventure foundation. As you search for the ominous tower for the fallen angels, you must smite their many minions with your priestly denim fury. At first, the one-button combat system seems a little lackluster, with most fights being passed in a trance of repetitive mashing. Then you discover that varying the timing of your button presses yields different combat results, and the true depth of the combat unfolds before you. With practice, mixing quick commands, charges, and more powerful modified attacks, it becomes second nature, and the battles take on an element of spectacle that's missing from the mashathons. Adding further layers to the seemingly simplistic combat are the three weapons Enoch has access to. If you guessed gold, frankincense, and myrrh, sorry, you're reading the wrong book. The arsenal consists of the arc blade, the veil gauntlet, and the gale, which is a sort of lasery whip kind of a thing. Each has a different attack range, speed, and power. Interestingly, Enoch doesn't hold onto all three at once, meaning that the only way to switch is to relinquish your armament from a stunned foe mid-battle, then purify it. This adds a strategic edge to proceedings by forcing you to prioritize enemies based on what item you want and making it perfectly plausible for you to get through all three in one small scuffle. El Shaddai's other major gameplay feature is platforming. Whilst it may be difficult to perceive the depth of the combat at first glance, from what we played, it doesn't ever get easier to judge depth when platforming. Cheers, fixed camera angles. Thanks so much. Tricky jumping sections are made even more difficult by Enoch's tendency to slip off edges. Looks like some sturdy hiking boots would have complemented those Levi's well. Yeah, and it's not all doom and gloom on the platforming front, as a quick change of perspective in some areas fixes most of the issues and opens up to some astoundingly beautiful 2D sections. El Shaddai. Despite having a deeply gratifying combat system and some interesting, if flawed, platforming, the actual gameplay comes second to the style. The graphics change influences on a chapter-by-chapter -chapter basis, flitting from striking silhouettes to neon Neverlands and back again effortlessly. It's abstract and surreal, but never confused or uncanny, and there's always a clear path. This mingles with a musical score that ebbs and flows from choral chants to resounding electric guitar riffs to produce a soundtrack as varied as the visuals. This merging of modern and religious influences is personified in characters such as Lucifer, your guardian angel and narrator, who talked in about your progress on his mobile phone. After spending some quality time getting to grips with the rhythmic third-person combat in El Shaddai's stupefying, stunning worlds, we're still not entirely sure what's going on. Then again, perhaps picking apart the baffling tangle of religious imagery and letting the sumptuous graphical range of this artistically ambitious game wash over you is half the fun.